What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a virus and a super hero hat bringing you another video here on the modern ninja channel So while I was on break, I promised we would be doing a video you guys have requested for a long time And we are and we aren't so you guys I'm sure you have read the title already. We're doing fight like Batman But you guys have requested so many different types of Batman that I couldn't just link them all together into one video because they're so different and so we're gonna be doing a little mini mini series like a like a sub series of a series Are you talking about inception that's right morty this is gonna be a lot like that except you know it's gonna maybe it make sense <laughs> over the different types of batman in media whether it's the animated batman uh ben affleck even going into the video games with the arkham series but before we get to those, we have to get with the first one, which my Discord helped me choose. And so we're gonna go over Christian Bale's Batman in the Batman trilogy or the Dark Knight trilogy, however you wanna say it. If you wanna help me choose the other ones in the future, join my Discord, links in the description. But before we get into that, run that intro. Alright guys, so um, if you are a long time fan of this channel, if you are, let me know down in the comments, but if you are a long time fan of the channel, then you know how I feel about Christian Bale's Batman. I don't love Christian Bale's Batman. The movies are great. I think the movies are amazing, but that Batman is not really Batman, at least not to me. What gives you the right? What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pants. And so in this video, I'm going to explain why that is because it has 100% to do with his fighting style. So this Batman relies on strength over basically everything else. He doesn't as much rely on stealth, even though he is shown that he has the capability to do it. But once he's in a fight, he doesn't rely on stealth tactics. He doesn't rely on finesse or speed or anything like that. He relies mostly on strength. And you can tell because in most of his fights, like the ones you're probably watching right now, he shows that his throws and elbows and punches are all coming from a place of muscle and power and less from a speed or finesse type of source. Now I'm not saying he doesn't have any speed or finesse. There are many gun disarms that Christian Bale does in these movies uh, that showcase that he is very fast when he wants to and he has the speed to keep up with people like Ra's al Ghul, a actual ninja, like a legit ninja. But for some reason when he's actually in combat, the majority of the time he is all about the strength. Like we, baby. On day, on me, baby. Gaze. Gaze. Now, because of this, Batman does show to use certain types of techniques more than others. Yes, he has shown to use different types of kicks and various spin moves and stuff like that, but most of the moves he uses are going to be elbows, punches, and throws. <laughs> three techniques take up the majority of his time when he's fighting that's what he spends the most time using that's what uh, is the most effective for him and it's because he relies on strength so much if you can't tell I'm not a fan that he relies on strength so much now my real problem is when we get to talking about Batman's guard guys Batman's guard is like way too high Wreck. it's too Damn high. He's often seen with his arms above his head like this, getting ready to do a double elbow or coming in to ch hammer fist. It looks like in some of the vi in some of the footage. I don't I don't get that. I don't understand how why they chose to do that with his fighting style. But over and over in his fighting scene, several times per fighting scene. Uh, you will see him go up like this to do some kind of elbow or whatever leaving his entire torso and face 
open and it's just I hate it. And you're gonna love me. Stop it. Get some help. I don't understand why he has such a bad fighting style. Uh but whatever. We're gonna go with it. Now, the one saving grace with this Batman is that he's proficient in his sword. He's able to be agile, uh, think creatively, and use his terrain to, an, to his advantage whenever using his sword. Refer obviously, I'm referencing when he was fighting Ra's al Ghul in that sword fight on the ice. However, for some reason, those skills don't really show up as much when he becomes Batman. I don't know if it's because the suit is more limiting. Honestly, that's probably why. It's probably why they don't do as much of the finesse style stuff because his suit was so limiting. But regardless, he doesn't do it and it, it makes me sad. But I know some of you guys want to get started on learning how to fight like this Batman anyway. So let's go outside and talk about uh, some some combos. All right, guys. So we're going to be going over just a few different combinations you can do that Batman would do in the Christian Bale movies. All right. So we're going to start off with our left hand first, just like this, blocking our right side with two hands blocking a haymaker coming in. So starting off one now you're going to use your right hand grab their punch grab that hand, that wrist and use your left elbow to to elbow them right in the jaw just like that so you're going to start here block grab elbow then you're going to come through with your right cross to the face just like that so one more time it's going to be one grab two three all together so our next combo will be a bat or knife disarm. This one's gonna be coming in. They're gonna be swinging. Let's say they have a knife swinging around. You're going to block and grab that wrist. You wanna grab that wrist as quickly as possible, making sure you do not grab the blade. So he's gonna grab like so, block and grab. Again, it's that same block and grab we did before. Block and grab. You're going to take your hand, this palm of your hand, and you're going to come up and break the elbow just like that like they're hold you're holding their hand and it comes up through the elbow so one more time you're gonna block and grab just like that you're going to step through and break and then you're going to elbow the head to, to ring them a little bit and get them set up in a headlock where you can choke them out one more time it'll be block grab break elbow wrap choke all right, guys, that is it for today. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you've made it this far, definitely let me know down in the comments. Tell me something like uh, hashtag, hashtag rebels only, hashtag rebels only. Do that in the comments if you've made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you guys so much. If you have an idea of what you want me to do for the next Batman, definitely let me know also down in the comments below. And if you really want to be part of the poll that I ask everyone for the final choice, uh, join my Discord because those guys get the ultimate say. That's just how it happens. They're, they're my boys. Uh, but until next time, don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff like like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that fun stuff because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out. Also, don't forget there's a giveaway for 25,000 subscribers.